everybody. In today's video, we're going to learn all about Ellis Island. But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos just like this. So if you're ready to learn more about Ellis Island, then let's go to the video. Ellis Island was once the first spot that many people saw when they arrived in the United States from other nations. Immigrants are people who move to a new country to live or reside. From 1892 until 1924, Ellis Island was the busiest immigration facility in the United States. The majority of immigrants that came to Ellis Island were Europeans from the following countries. Between 1924 and 1954, another 2.3 million people passed through the island. And many immigrants who came to the United States were in search of a better life or better opportunities. For many immigrants who came to America in search of a better life, the island was nicknamed the Island of Hope. In order to actually enter the United States, they had to answer a total of 29 different questions. Those who failed certain tests, on the other hand, well, they were sent home. And children were sometimes separated from their parents, or one parent was sent home. As a result, the island was also known as the Island of Tears. The examination process was the most terrifying moment for newcomers to the island. To make sure that they were not ill, all immigrants had to pass a medical examination. Doctors and inspectors examined all of the immigrants that came to Ellis Island. They examined each person for sickness and recorded information about who could remain inside the United States. The majority of people did pass their tests and proceeded to New York City after several long hours of exams and interviews. Others failed their exams. Some were suffering from terrible illnesses. And they were also interviewed by inspectors to see whether they could support themselves in America. In total, 12 million immigrants passed through Ellis Island during this time period and only about 2% are believed to have been denied passage into the United States. The Ellis Island Center closed in the year 1954, and the island became a tourist destination in 1976, and the Immigration Center reopened as a museum in the year 1990. So who was the first person to arrive at Ellis Island? The first person was a girl named Annie Moore, she was a 15-year-old Irish girl who was the first to arrive. Annie had traveled to America with her two younger brothers to reconnect with her parents who had already arrived. And if you visit Ellis Island today, there is actually a statue of Annie Moore. Hey, guess what? The busiest year for Ellis Island was 1907, when over one million immigrants passed through. That's right, Quinn, and on April 17th in 1907, 11,747 people were processed, marking it as the busiest day ever on Ellis Island. Currently, around 100 million Americans can most likely trace their ancestry back to immigrants who arrived at Ellis Island. So, where exactly is Ellis Island? That is a really good question, Quinn, because it has been argued for a long time whether Ellis Island should be located in New York or in the state of New Jersey. And this was eventually decided by the United States Supreme Court in the year 1998. And that is because the majority of the island is located in New Jersey. Ellis Island is technically part of New Jersey, not New York. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about Ellis Island. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.